Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. We are continuing our series in motors and control systems. In the last video we covered transformer connections. In this video we'll be looking at some control devices and talk about their working principle as well as their function in motor control circuits. Before we dive into the video, if you haven't yet subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Let's get started. A control device is a component used to turn on or off current flow in an electrical circuit. Some of these control devices include push buttons, switches, and pilot lights also known as indicator lights. We'll cover these control devices as well as mention and review a few more in our next video. The first device we'll be talking about is the push button. A push button is a control device used to manually open or close a set of contacts to perform an action on a machine or process. The abbreviations associated with push buttons are NC and NO, which are normally closed and normally open. In the normal state, current will be flowing through the normally closed push button and will break a circuit whenever pressed. After the button has been released, it will return to the closed position. The opposite action takes place for the normally open push button. The normally open push button will make the circuit close whenever it is pressed. After it's released, it will return to its open position. Depending on the push button, it's possible that it may or may not have both a normally open and normally closed set of contacts. There are a variety of push buttons. A few of them are flush mount, extended mount, mushroom head, and all of these can either be illuminated or non-illuminated and momentary or maintained. As we go through these push buttons, take a look at how they are designed. The flush mount push buttons are often used for protection from accidental initiation. Extended mount push buttons are used for easier activation since the actuator sticks out about a quarter of an inch beyond the mounting ring. The mushroom head push buttons have larger actuators that are easily seen and actuated and therefore are used in emergency push buttons. As I mentioned earlier, the push buttons can be illuminated. This means that an LED is integrated inside the push button to be used as a visual aid for operators. Now, for momentary type push buttons, they return to their normal state after the button has been released. On the other hand, maintain type push buttons are pressed and maintain their state after being pressed. You will have to press the button again to switch states or return it to the normal state. Our next control device we will cover is the selector switch. A selector switch is a device that has an operating knob which can either be operated left or right to actuate contact states. These switches are used whenever more than one control option is needed. In the example, the selector switch has three different operation modes. If you look at the table provided, in position 1, the switch will close to make circuit A. In position 2, the switch will stay open and not make any of the two circuits. Circuit B will be made whenever the switch is in position 3. You can typically find these switches in two or three way and illuminated and non-illuminated. The last control device we will cover today is the pilot or indicator light, as I mentioned earlier. Pilot lights are used to show a visual status of a process or operation. They can be used to indicate a fault or show the status of a motor. In the example, the pilot light is showing the status of the motor. If the motor is running, it will turn the pilot light on. If the motor is not running, the pilot light will stay off. Aside from regular pilot lights, there are some out there that are pushed to test. These types of pilot lights are a great way to troubleshoot to see if the light is faulty. In the example provided, whenever the button is pressed, it breaks the normal signal input to the light and makes the circuit for the other set of contacts wired. Pilot lights come in a variety of colors. The following are some of the colors and the way they are used. Red pilot lights are used to signal a fault or indicate that there is a hazardous condition or emergency preset. Yellow pilot lights are used to give a warning or caution, or to indicate that there is an abnormal condition. Green pilot lights are used to indicate that the device or process is running as intended. Blue pilot lights are used to indicate that there is a condition that requires action by an operator. The control devices mentioned can be found in AC or DC and various different types of voltages. Knowing how control devices work and are used will help you in choosing the right control devices for your application. 
This concludes the video for Control Devices Part 1. In our next video, we will keep discussing more control devices. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram at ISCA underscore engineering underscore and Facebook at ISCA engineering. The links will be provided in the description. There, we post daily content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.